At the end of the day, it's just a loss, the Buffs second in a row. And despite what the scoreboard says, something happened in that second half. Led by Shadur Sanders and the offense, Colorado captured belief when all looked lost. If we would have got that ball last, we were going to go down and score. We knew that. We know that. Everybody in here knows that. If you can't see what's coming with CU football, you've lost your mind. You're just a flat-out hater if you can't see what's going on and what's going to transpire over the next several months. Something's wrong with you. It was a furious second half comeback that saw CU really outplay USC in that second half. Kind of sounds like a moral victory, right? Well, later in sports, we're going to get Shadur Sanders' thoughts on that. In Boulder, Eric Christensen, CBS Sports, Colorado. I'm sure everybody at halftime was thinking this looks a lot like last week, and it certainly did. And even though CU has prime time, they just didn't look ready for prime time. But that second half really re-energized the fans, the staff, and the team, and has CU feeling about as positive as you can after a loss. Today we kind of got a glimpse of who our identity is. When we play good football, we didn't really have a taste of that until, um, you know, since week one. A loss is a loss. We we all humans, we all put our pants on the same way. So um, it's just understanding this is the problem and we got to get to solution and find a way to get to solution, start out fast and get in that zone. CU really needs to hang on to whatever momentum they gained here this afternoon because next week they play at Arizona State in a game that is crucial for their postseason aspirations. In Boulder, Eric Christensen, CBS Sports, Colorado.